Hello and welcome to this channel. And if you are the first time here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button to see the latest technology videos. In this video, we are discussing about Java Server Pages lifecycle. So, the key to understanding the low-level functionality of JSP is to understand the symbol lifecycle they follow. So a JSP lifecycle is defined as the process from its creation till the end. And this is similar to a servlet lifecycle with an additional step which is required to compile a JSP into servlet. So paths followed by JSP are compilation, initialization, execution and cleanup. So the four major phases of a JSP lifecycle are very similar to the servlet lifecycle. First we have JSP init initialization, then JSP service main logic and shutdown. So JSP compilation. So when a browser asks for a JSP, the JSP engine first checks to see whether it needs to compile the page. And if the page has never been compiled or if the JSP has been modified since it was last compiled, the JSP engine compiles the page. And the compilation process involves three steps, parsing the JSP, turning the JSP into a servlet, and then compiling the servlet. So JSP initialization. So when a container loads a JSP, it invokes the JSP init method before servicing any request. And if you need to perform JSP specific initialization, override the JSP init method. And typically initialization is performed only once and as with the servlet init method, you generally initialize database connections, open file and create lookup tables in the JSP init method. Then JSP execution. So this phase of the JSP lifecycle represent all interactions with requests until the JSP. And whenever a browser requests a JSP and the JSP has been loaded and initialized, the JSP engine invokes the JSP service method in the JSP. And the JSP service method takes an HTTP servlet request and an HTTP servlet response as its parameters. And the JSP service method of a JSP invoked on a request basis and this is responsible for generating the response for that request and this method is also responsible for generating responses to all the seven of the HTTP methods, get, post, delete, etc. Then JSP cleanup. So this phase of the JSP lifecycle represents when a JSP is being removed from use by a container and the JSP uh, cleanup JSP destroy method is the JSP equivalent of the destroy method for servlets. Override JSP destroy when you need to perform any cleanup such as releasing database connections or closing open files. So this was a brief discussion on JSP lifecycle and we will be discussing more on Java server pages in the upcoming videos. And if you are the first time here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button in order to stay updated about the most trending technologies. Thank you for watching this video. Bye for now.